uh, Cayenne. We're talking about Internet of Things. What is Cayenne? What is My Devices? All right. Well, at My Devices, our goal is to simplify the creation of IoT. I know that sounds quite daunting, but uh, we, 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 in speaking with companies, we realized that we were hearing a common theme. Everybody wanted to take advantage of IoT, but they just didn't know how to get there. Where do I start? How do I bridge this gap from an idea that I have to prototyping all the way to a commercialized solution. So that's why we developed and launched just over a year ago a product called Cayenne, which is an IoT project builder. Um, really simple, easy to use, drag and drop IoT project builder. Yeah, and Cayenne, you can think of Cayenne as sort of what we, we came out with. So we launched it a year ago and we kind of told the world we are my devices. We've been building an IoT platform and developing infrastructure um, and so on for three and a half years. And it has now come to fruition with a free project, project builder that we call Cayenne. So that's, that's how you can kind of make the distinction of my devices. So the company Cayenne is, is the product that we give to everyone for free to use. And the, <clears throat> the product has actually evolved from when we launched. We started really addressing the maker community. We uh, integrated with the Raspberry Pi, then we added Arduino, and then just last month at CES, we launched our IoT Ready program, which is a really great opportunity for hardware manufacturers, any device, any hardware manufacturer to bring their device and actually bring it inside of Cayenne so that our hundreds and thousands of developers have the ability to drag and drop all of these different sensors, microcontrollers, gateways. We also have a large number of connectivity partners so now we really have taken the complexity and that long time to market out of many, many developers' hands. And it's been really well received since we, since we uh, launched this. We have over 100,000, 150,000 yeah. downloads last week, right? Yeah, signups for the platform. Yeah. Now I, I want to talk about this because you've you found an interesting approach to getting Internet of Things devices online. You've actually taken one of the most difficult parts for the the young developer, which is figuring out exactly how they're going to get this on the, to the device and what kind of useful information they can pull off of it. Uh, I do want to mention to especially to our audio listeners right now, uh, the reason why they don't have a beautiful sounding mic and they don't have two cameras is because currently. <laughs> Los Angeles is underwater, and evidently they're in their backup studio. So you're going to have to forgive them for that. Don't hold it against them, please. Uh, but gentlemen, tell me about this. When when someone starts thinking about developing an IoT device that's useful, I'm not talking about internet connected vending machines or internet connected you know dryers, which are kind of cool but not great sources of, of usable data. What is the biggest challenge? What is the thing that makes new developers look at and say, "No, nah, I'm not going to do that." I think it's the complexity and the time that it is required. Also, the ability of coding and hooking up all of these devices and the learning curve to do that. What we've really done is taken out that hard work because we pre-provisioned all of these devices that they can use from a library of um, multitudes of different types of sensors, actuators, and controllers. And so they can simply drag and drop that relatively code-free and do what they want to do, which is... I want to make something. I want to create this innovation. I want to be innovative in this in, in my space and get it to market. And so we've really helped them evolve and get that product commercialized. Yeah. And I think that's the hardest. Yeah. And it's kind of a combination because when you think of any really, whether it's a low level or a very complicated like IoT project, it's kind of, it ends up being a marriage of hardware and software. So we're, we're a software company. So really we've also kind of, taken a dive into at some level, even into hardware. So for example, for like Raspberry Pi or Arduino, we really ease the process of getting those devices connected to the internet and reading data from any sensor that's connected. Now, of course, what, there is a hard part of actually figuring out how to wire the sensors and read data from the physical hardware. But from the software side, we provide um, device drivers that get installed with the agent um, that gets installed on the device or if it doesn't actually have an operating system like the Raspberry Pi it's, it's just a microcontroller like the Arduino we actually provide code samples that you can copy and paste uh, flash directly to the device and it will connect to, to the internet automatically so it's really all about simplifying 
the experience for people who are trying to build projects because there's a lot of pain in building these projects.